So your friends have been showing off with this tool called Tune Me, but as a stable diffusion artist, you can say, I'll do you one better. In Civit AI, there is this new model called Tune You. Well, it isn't new, it's just that I'm pretty late to the game, but if you are late like me, then I'll teach you how to use this model, how it works, the best settings, and then how to use this with image to image to tune yourself. All right, first off, this is the model page. Scrolling down, you can see some really cool generations done with this model. The faces look a bit the same, but this art style and the colors are really nice. But scrolling up, you'll see this is the unstable beta version, so we're going to switch to beta 3 and something I've used in my own generations. You can see it has some cool art as well. Now, as always, scroll down and you'll find the settings that should be used along with this model. All right, I'm going to use these settings on my model. First, I'm going to copy-paste the main prompt, then the negative prompt, and finally, I'm going to change these settings, such as setting the CFG to 8 and keeping steps more than 25. Okay, now I write a prompt to generate a smiling blonde girl standing in the street, Let's hit generate. And wow, that's pretty accurate. Sure, her face is a bit blurred since we aren't using Hire's Fix, but it gets the job done. Now let's use Hire's Fix. And like always, I follow the instructions on the model page. Set the steps, the denoising strength to 0.4, and upscaler to Anime 6B. Hit generate, and now we've got a nice image with the exact details and a better face. Now, if your hands have issues, you can use embeddings. So right here is a generation result I got after using the bad hands embedding. If you need an in-depth tutorial about embeddings, let me know. But you apply it by going here and using one of the textual inversions. Okay, that's job number two done. Now for three, I'm going to detail this prompt more. Go for a concept art and see how well this handles it. Okay, you can see I have written a prompt here. And now let's see how well this model handles it. All right, this is the result we got. Now you might think, ha, this guy just wrote a normal prompt. But no, I wrote this prompt to test the model's capabilities when it comes to different parts of art generation. For example, I tested the hair with these keywords, then the art style, and then how it handles ornaments like necklaces and bangles. And let's just say this, there's more to this prompt than meets the eye and the generation was pretty accurate except for the hair and the smartphone in her hand. All right, now for the important part of this video, and probably what you were waiting for the most, tuning an image. Now to get started with this, follow my steps closely. I'll teach you the quickest way to start working on this. First, visit the Image to Image tab and load an image. I have loaded one right here, and then click on this Interrogate Clip button. What it does is it analyzes your image and gives you some tags like this. Look at these. These are what I got for my image. Now from those tags, remove the ones you don't need. Then copy-paste the previous negative prompts. Since her hands are hidden in this case, I'm going to remove the bad hands embedding. Now that we have the prompt ready, go down to the settings. Set the sampling steps, change width and height to match the image, and then move to the most important setting, denoising strength. A higher denoising strength makes your generation look far different from the image you provided, and a lower one makes it very similar. And since we need a clone of this image tuned, we need to go for a lower value. But this is purely experimental. I chose 0.6 and this is what I got, but this has too many variations. I chose 0.3 and it looked very much similar to the image, but I need her face and some minor other things corrected. And finally, I went with 0.4 and 0.5, and I got some good results for 0.5. I reduced the strength to 0.45 after that. So like I said, to test denoising strength, you'll have to experiment. Now to the next step. Go to ControlNet. If you haven't installed ControlNet, I have done a beginner-friendly tutorial, so make sure to check that one out. So in ContraNet, load your image, click Enable and load the canny controls. You can keep the settings the same, but if a canny model isn't loaded, then you'll have to download one from the Hugging Face page. Now I hit Generate, and you can see we get a very close output. In the canny output, you can see we've captured her details very well. But if you feel like details are missing, then you can go down and change these high and low thresholds. Increasing the low threshold and decreasing the high one can always give you better results. Here's another generation right after the adjustment and you can see the details were captured really nicely. Even the minor ones like the smile, the sunset, the people, and all of that. 
In some cases, your faces might be blurred, so in those cases, use the Restore Faces option. I rarely use this during text to image generation, but in these cases, it works really well. As you can see during this generation, I used the Restore Faces option and even used the DPM sampler and got a better face as a result. And as always, if your generation isn't quite similar to the image provided, make sure to change the high and low thresholds of the Canny model so you can get better results. Canny works by edge detection, so the more edges you have, the better your image is. Last but not least, if your face is still having issues, then you might need to do some inpainting. In this case, keep the settings the same and scroll below and click the inpaint button right here. Then this image will be sent to inpaint. Scroll below and click on inpaint, not masked. And keep all of the settings the same. Don't change even a thing. Now hit generate, and you can see the face looks much better. Once again, remember not to change any settings. If you want to change settings, do that while in the Image to Image tab and then send the picture to InPainting. And there you go. Here's the tuned version of the same image. As always, make sure to like the video if you gained anything helpful and subscribe to get more updated tips like this. Thanks for watching AI Gang, and I'll see you all in the next video.